All right, so let's have a look at the send method. Now the send method simply allows us to send a value to our generator, right? So we know that generators can yield multiple values to someone who is calling them, some functionality that is calling them, but that functionality can also provide values to our generators, okay? Those values might in some way um, influence the production of new values. Now, um, the new value that is sent to the generator will be received at the point where the last value was yielded, right? So the, we know that the generator, when it yields a value, it will pause until it receives the signal to send the next one, right? So at that point where the generator is paused, there we could um, potentially receive a value that was transmitted with the send method. And once the value is received with the send method, that is the same as a signal to continue on um, our generator function. So it will move on until the next value is yielded, right? Um, so here is a practical example to see um, in better detail what that means. So we are having a loop, i smaller than 10, i is incremented by one for each passing of the loop. And then we are yielding the value i but we are also receiving a value from send, okay? Um, so the send method will send a value and it will be received in this variable from send. And then we are printing a, a message received this value. Okay, so here is how we would call uh, that generator. We have, have a for loop. We are printing the number that was generated and then we are sending thanks for this particular number. So let's put that in practice and we will see what that gives us in terms of printouts. All right, so def generate numbers. Okay, so here I have i equals zero. I have a while loop, i smaller than 10. And I am saying i plus equals one for each passing of the loop. Then I have from send equals yield i. Okay, so um, the result of this yield, which will be the value transmitted by the send function, will go into our from send variable. And then we are simply printing that variable in a f string generator, so that we know that this message come from the generator received um, from send. All right, so this is our generator. Now, let's go ahead and use that generator in a for loop. So I'm going to say gen equals generate numbers. We need that reference so that we can send um, a value to it later on. So for num in gen, okay, so the numbers generated. I'm going to first print an f string main, okay, so this is our main program. I'm going to print out the num and then I'm going to say send gen dot send um, an f string main thanks for num. All right, so what happens when we run this code? Now, something a bit weird happens and we will explain why this happens. First of all, I want to change just slightly this string. I'm going to remove the main here because this is actually sent to the generator. It's not happening. It's not printed in the main, right? So let's go ahead and run this again. All right, there we go, much better. So what is happening? First of all, we are starting the generator. We are receiving the first value one. We are printing that main one, okay, here. And then we are sending the value thanks for thanks for one that is received here it is printed okay uh, generator received thanks for one it is moving on to the next step in the loop because um, the send function also triggers a signal to move on to the next yield it is arriving here and it's yielding the value i okay the value two which is actually not received in our um, in our main program. Then what is happening in our main program? Well, we are going through the loop. We are calling the next value in the generator, which is, um, so the generator is proceeding. It hasn't received anything from send 
uh, here. So that that's why we get none. It is moving on to the next value. It is yielding the value three. So in our main program, we are receiving the value three. There we go. And then we are sending things for three. It is being received here. It is printed. Okay, thanks for three. And it's moving on to the next yield four. But it hasn't received anything. And the for loop will call the next value. So it will print receive none and then move on to number five and so on and so on and so forth, right? So keep in mind that the send method will trigger a new value to be yielded. Okay, so that is how this works and we can improve this program slightly um, if we want to capture the next value as well, right? So here in our second iteration of this program, we are printing um, the number that we received. We are sending thanks for num, but we are also capturing that value here. So next value equals this. And then we are printing main two the value that was sent the second time, right? So let's put that in our code. I'm going to copy that, comment this code out, and then I'm going to paste it here. So we can update this uh, code by saying next value is being received here. And I'm going to print that next value. I'm going to say main two um, next value. Okay, so this time we are capturing both the values sent because the for loop is calling uh, next, but also we are capturing the values that are generated by the send function. So let's go ahead and run this. So we can see that this time the main program is capturing all the values, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. It is still receiving none when the function is calling next. OK, but it is receiving thanks for one, three and five when we are sending those values for those. Um, we are sending the string for those values. So there we go. Um, this might seem a bit confusing. I do recommend you uh, spend some time on it to kind of understand each step in this um, little algorithm, because, um, you know, it is quite um, not difficult, but it takes some time to wrap your head around what uh, generators do and what the send method does. The main idea is that the send method will also generate a yield. So it will generate moving to the new um, yield of the generator, right? So um, while the yield stops the execution, while the next is being called, the send will call that next and will move on to the next value. So there we go. That is how we use the send function for the generators.